I'd pay that music. I thought it was, was great. In the ring now, we have Colstrom Dante and uh, Michelle Baker. The horse is owned by Michelle Baker. And Roger, it's so Colstrom. fantastic to see Michelle's t- made the step up to Grand Prix. And I did judge her in the Inter too. She's done it so well. I'm, I'm so thrilled for her. Lovely halt, spot on square. I think they're such a great combination. Um, this horse gives me the feeling he gives his all. Great focus, and, and I think, you know, Michelle really has a great partnership with him. Um, she seems to know him back to the front, and perhaps the horse is a little the same way with Michelle. Into the extended trot. This music works for me. It's building. It's really suggesting, this is the beginning, pay attention, what's to come. The choreography, she started simple. After all, a curved line like that also belongs in a preliminary test. Into the trot half pass. Again, well supported with the music. A little bit of percussion coming in there. And the passage is... No, still quite to trot, Roger, is it? No, it is passage, but it's... it's Yeah, and and I thought well supported with the music, and that helps lift the horse a little bit. Uh, he's a young Grand Prix horse, isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. This Piaf is a little forward and a couple of double jumps with the right hind, but I was convinced with that passage. I thought that was a, a really great choice of music. The music told us it was passage. I wasn't left guessing. Yeah. And I know, Roger, you're focusing on the technical and you're thinking, he's a young Grand Prix horse, so this is still developing. Well, we can't, as judges, we can't say forgive him because he's a young Grand Prix horse. You've got to see what's in front of him. No, but it was clearly a passage for me, and, yeah. and I think the, the music, yeah. And again, the music is telling us this is Passage. Um, I, I think the tempo is absolutely Passage tempo. I'm convinced this is a yeah, Passage. Um, could be even stronger, and he could be more supple through the pole. And I think in the Piaf, this, this is, he, he needs to use his neck more for balance, and I, I, I suspect he probably does in training. Um, here he is in the big ring. Uh, for the freestyle. Extended walk, good relaxation, could release a little more from the wither, well supported with music. She's chosen uh, a diagonal line and not a uh, a straight line for collected but on the curved line again. It's very important that the horse is on one track, we're not seeing shoulder in or Traver, and it's always better, if possible, not to show flexion. It's just a small thing, but flexion belongs in corners, not on straight lines. And I think she did well with that. With the music to the canter. As I said before, I'm so pleased for Michelle that she's made it to Grand Prix. Um, lots and lots of hard work. Canter half pass, again, the music um, building started in a sense, in a humble way, Roger, I think. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she got in the two counter changes, so no problems with the difficulty as in the test. Building to the Tempes. And again, well supported with the music. He had a little problem to begin with. And I'm not sure, does this look better from the front? Normally, when a horse is young and not so straight yet, it is better to do it from the front. But I mean, the horse can't, the rider can't position everything coming towards the judges. Some things have to go away. It often finishes up as a result being the extended paces. And I think just position there might have been better. Extension away and one's back. But the rider has to consider the horse's adrenaline level, just where they're at, and into the can of pirouette. Uh, we got a little smaller in the middle parts. Again, good support from music. And I guess Michelle wanting to show she can do extended canter pirouette. Difficulty in that. And again, little problems in the twos behind at the beginning. So these technical errors um, will be costly. And if there's technical errors in that um, the first page of marks, 50% of the total the technical marks and the judge comes to those during the test, the artistic they're formulating in their mind but not actually committing to on paper so to speak and signing <coughs> Sorry. until the end. So it's going to be a little bit of a negative, these mistakes um, will play on the judge's mind. 
kind of pirouette, could be a little smaller. Again, good support from the music. I think she's done a great job with the music. The editing there, it, it's funny, it fitted. He was unsure, but moments of quiet like that really need, there needs to be a reason to have that. And it could have been the sound system here, but I, I think that could be a little tidier. And again, we know it's Passage, Roger. <laughs> Because it looks more like Passage. Ah. And a final center line by the look of things with Passage Piaf. Transitions and Passage again. And the music building all the way on that final centre line. Um, I was wrong about it being the end. To go from to Troy. And this is a, a problem. Um, a circle at the end like that, it's not symmetrical, it serves no purpose. I wonder if her plan is with this music it to have passage some passage music. half pass and to, to add things which will take more time on that final centre line. Can't help but think that that's a work in progress, that final bit. So artistically, unfortunately, that is going to be a negative for the choreography and also for the music, um, Roger. But